I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of power electronics. In this session, I am going to discuss the details of three-phase dual converter. We have already discussed single-phase dual converter and understood the principle in the previous session. Now, let's discuss how does three-phase dual converter operate. First of all, I would like to explain why we require three-phase dual converter. Yes, of course, three-phase dual converter that is mainly suitable where the power requirement is up to 2000 kilowatts. It is nothing but the back-to-back -back connections of two three-phase full converters. Here, the, if you connect these two three-phase full converter back-to-back, -back, there is a circulating current flow between the converter. Why? Because uh, there is a uh, instantaneous voltage difference between two output voltages. So, output voltage of one converter is out of phase with respect to the output voltage of another converter. That is what there is a formation of circulating current. In order to limit the circulating current, we are going to use one of the inductor called the LR. So this is the basic information about three-phase dual converter. Ultimately, for the high power application, we need three-phase dual converter. Next, I will take you to show you the circuit diagram of three-phase dual converter. As you can observe, the circuit diagram of three-phase dual converter is such a way that there is a two uh, three-phase full converter which is connected back to back. Here you can provide the supply. We are providing the supply. A, B, C are the lines. Okay. The line current is IA, IB, IC. You can go for either star connection or delta connection. And we have like a T1, T3, T5 are the positive like devices, positive converter or pos sorry, positive thyristor and T4, T6 and T2 are the negative thyristors. Something like that you can say. Here you can say like a, a T2 dash, T6 dash and T4 dash is belong to the upper layer where T5 dash, T3 dash, T1 dash all are belong to the lower layer. And uh, the load is sharing between uh, these two uh, converter, converter 1 and converter 2. Okay. Then there is a circulating current. In order to limit the circulating current, we are having the inductance. Okay. We are connecting the inductor. Uh, the inductance is actually divided like LR by 2 and LR by 2 at the both of the sides. And the load current is denoted by I0. Also, the output of output voltage of the first converter is V01, where the output voltage of the second converter is V02. The output voltage is actually the sum of V01 and V02. So ultimately, we will be like, like VR is equal to V01 plus minus of V02 because V01 and V02 are oh, like uh, out of 180 degree out of phase. There's, there will be v, VR equal to V01 minus V02. That will be the output voltage. Okay. So this is regarding three phase dual converter. Now, let us understand how does it work? What, are, what is the function of the three-phase dual converter? Here we can see uh, the simple operation and we are providing a supply at the both, both of the sides. Okay. And uh, uh, the triggering sequence will be in this fashion. T5, uh, T6, T6, T1, T1, T2, T2, T3, T3, T4, T6, T4, T5, T5, T6. Also, we can see the waveforms. Okay, so like VAN, VN is the line voltage, VBN is also another line voltage, VCN is another line voltage, correct. So corresponding to that, you are able to get uh, the like uh, the output voltage that is given by VCB, VAB, VAC, VBC, VBA, like that correspondingly you can get the output voltage. And this is actually the output voltage of uh, the second converter, this is the output voltage of first converter V01. Uh, then V02 is the output voltage of second converter because both the converters are connected back to back. And we can observe the waveform of circulating current. This is the waveform of circulating current. Okay. So because uh, there is a out voltage difference, V01 and V02 are like uh, opposite. There is a phase difference because of that, uh, the circulating current is getting formulated. Now, uh, the operation can be explained in the form of like uh, the firing angle. The like uh, we can see the two converter which are connected back to back, back to back. Alpha one is delay. Alpha one is the delay angle of the converter one, where the delay angle of another converter is pi minus alpha one. So if I take the sum of alpha one and alpha two, that is of course one eighty degree. And for a, for an example, we can see uh, like uh, the firing sequence will familiar. So the delay angle that lies between alpha one plus pi by 6 less than or is equal to omega 2 less than or is equal to pi by 2 plus alpha 1. So the device will be turning on in this particular period. So that means VAB will be appearing across the output of converter 1 and VBC will be appearing, up, appearing across uh, the converter 2. Now you can familiar the same thing in the uh, circuit diagram. VAB you can observe. This is your VAB. Okay. So VAB is here. And the second one is actually you can see VBC. Let me point out so that you will understand very clearly. So where is VAB? So 
let me uh, figure out this is your VAB. Okay, so VAB is here. Uh, see, we can see like uh, VBC. This will be VCA. VABC here. This will be VBC. Okay, like that, uh, the sequence will be formulated that you have to note down because it is operating two converters are connected back to back. The operation of each converter is identical to that of three phase two converter. So, if I talk, talk about the converter one and converter two individually, it will be just like independent uh, three phase full way converter, but combined it is going to operate. Now, we can see about like a uh, uh, phase voltage and line voltage. The first one is I am talking about the line phase voltage. Phase voltage is nothing but take one line and the nodal point, for example, A and N. So, Vn is the phase voltage. So, Vn is equal to Vm sin omega t, where Vn is equal to uh, Vm sin omega t minus 2 pi by 3, or Vcn is equal to Vm sin omega t plus 2 pi by 3. This is basically, you know, like a, a three phase system. So, like uh, each uh, phase, phase angle will be 120 degree apart. If I talk about the line to line voltage, it will be like a VAB is nothing but VAN minus VBN. Uh, so, you know, like if it is a star connection, line voltage is equal to root 3 time phase voltage. That will be like a root 3 VM sin omega t plus 5 by 6. If I talk about VBC, it will be the difference between VBN and VCN. You can observe the same thing in a diagram. So, that concept will be very clear to you. VCA will be like a VCN minus VA. So, it is very simple. You just look at that. So, if I talk about like a VAB, where is VAB? So, VAB will be somewhere else here only, VAB. VAB is nothing but, what is VAB? It is a difference between VAN and VBN, okay? So, you will be getting uh, in this particular equation. This equation you are supposed to remember. Now, we need to calculate the value of circulating current as well as the output voltage. Output voltage is actually the difference between uh, the voltage of conver full converter 1 and the voltage of full converter 2. So, here I am going to show you the simple derivation of the output voltage. Vr is nothing but V01 plus V02 actually. But regarding the sign, sign is different. So, V01, V01 minus V02. Why? Because VAB and VBC will be like uh, uh, out of phase. So, VAB minus VBC. So, that will be applying the equation. You can substitute what is VAB and VBC in the previous equation. VAB is nothing but root 3 Vm sin omega t plus 5 by 6. Uh, also, uh, VBC means uh, root 3 Vm sin omega t minus pi by 2. If you substitute together, then you are able to get. Then you can apply the trigonometric formula. What is sin a plus b, sin a minus b. Difference between sin a plus b minus sin a minus b can compute. Uh, the, finally, uh, the Vr is equal to 3 Vm cos omega t minus pi by 6. Please remember this formula. It will be really helpful for the gate examination. 3 Vm cos omega t minus pi by 6. At that time, you never get a further time for doing the calculation, during, especially during the competitive examination. Directly, you have to remember. And now, I would like to show you the derivation for the circulating current. Circulating current is equal to 1 by XL. The, that means L into omega R. XL is nothing but inductive reactance that you can write LR into omega. Same thing I have written here. Phi plus alpha 1 to omega T, VR V omega T. I know what is the value of VR. Directly, you substitute here. So, that will be 3 Vm cos omega t minus pi by 6 d omega t. So, if you further simplify, you are able to get the expression in this fashion. Ir is equal to Ir of t. Instead, t is the instantaneous time. Uh, 3 Vm by omega LR sin omega t minus pi by 6 minus sin alpha 1. I request you to study these two equations. Equation number 1 and equation number 2 that will be asked in the gate examination. Okay. In the university examination, you can derive. But in the gate examination, you never get in a good enough time. So, I request you to remember this formula directly so that you can solve the problem very quickly. So, these are the two uh, simple derivations which is applicable to three phase door converter. One is the output voltage, another one is inductor current. Okay. Output voltage is the sum of like uh, uh, V01 and V02, but the V01 and V02 both are out of phase. So, sign will be different. Right. So, in this session, what I discussed is, I have just given the idea about what is three-phase door converter, need for three-phase door converter, how about the connection of three-phase door converter, and what about the firing angle of converter group number one, and what is the firing angle of group number two, and uh, uh, similarly, waveforms of those single, uh, like the three-phase door converter we have familiar, uh, then we computed the line to neutral voltage, then line to line voltage, it is very simple, phase voltage and line voltage, thereafter I computed the output voltage, uh, that means VR, uh, then I computed the circulating current by using this formula. Uh, 
uh, that's all about uh, three phase dual converter if the voltage requirement is if the load requirement load power is very high you can directly use three phase dual converter it will be very convenient to control the output voltage okay so if you have any queries you can ask me uh, through chat box thank you very much for watching this video happy learning have a great day